Good morning guys. Welcome to Madrid. Welcome to another day. It's very calm and nice here in the shade, not too hot. It's about 8 a.m. in the morning. And I have stumbled upon something interesting. I've stumbled upon an article here on my laptop that is claiming to uh, this area here where my hotel is to be very dangerous indeed. This guy is saying, I would like to warn visitors about this area in Madrid center since it could be dangerous. And then he lists the square where it would be between Calle and Gran Via and blah, 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 so on and so forth. And then another guy goes on to say, thanks for this warning. It is very unlikely you will stumble into this area on your first trip to Madrid anyway. And as I looked it up, I was like, oh my God, very unlikely. This is where my hotel is. It can't be that bad though, since yesterday I walked around. But then I looked into the exact area where it was, where he said it is, and I haven't been there yet. It is just behind my hotel. And I figured I will just go there today, go there this morning indeed, and see if it's actually dangerous or if that's just another hoax on the internet. Because normally, if something is dangerous, you, you feel it, you, you heard about it. Um, but yesterday, in this, in this area, there was no such thing. And... I just believe that there's many things being said on the internet that are not true, especially when it comes to traveling, especially when it comes to media covering dangerous places or travelers going areas sketchy. Let's see, let's find out. I have to go outside anyway to get coffee first and then let's check out this area. And I will uh, catch you guys uh, when I'm there, I guess. Let's do that. Okay, I'm going to put my Canada mask on now and go into Tim Hortons. There's an actual Tim Hortons here. Let's check it out. I mean, how authentic is that? And this one, uh, Tarta de Manzana? That's it. Okay. Here it begins, I have been told, or I have seen, basically. Here um, is the first area of the triangle, the quarter, that this guy described. And, I mean, of course, in the back alleys here, it can look more sketchy than out on the street. But so far, Everything all right. Some police cars. More than normal, probably. But not too sketchy at all. This is apparently the dangerous part that they have been talking about. I mean, if it doesn't get any more dangerous than here, <laughs> then they fail to scare me. Let's see. I mean, look at that. There's people just casually eating their breakfast. How can you warn about this place? Let's see. Let's carry on. I'll talk to you guys again when I stumble onto something scarier. Hello, hola. <laughs> Good morning. Also, he's friendly and nice. So, <laughs> no need to uh, be scared. This is supposed to be the area muy peligroso. I really don't know where this video is going 
if there's nothing dangerous to find around here, I might just have to, <laughs> to shift it or like change the title or something. Maybe the video should be called Nothing Dangerous to Find in Madrid. But let's see, can somebody uh, maybe rob me or something to make the video more interesting? Oh wow, wow. that looked good. Little things here. Look at that. Is it? It's actually uh, not paper, like I was expecting. Wow, cool. That's what you can find here also. Maybe for a thumbnail. Let's go for a thumbnail. All right. Let's carry on this way. I'm not too sure if we can find something dangerous today. In this dangerous hood in Madrid, I've come across a very nice bakery and treated myself to a uh, pretzel with jamón. Of course, guys, this was a complete scam. As always, if you read something on the internet and you don't check for yourself first if it's true, um, I believe, I mean, whoever avoided this area because um, they didn't they didn't want to come here because they thought it was dangerous. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry for them because it's a nice area. I mean, of course, here it's a bit run down. But in general, this is also uh, really central and and nice, nice food choices and so on. So don't be fooled. And this is basically a little bit of the Asian quarter. And I will end the video inside this Mercado Los Mustenes because it looks nice. There's so many of these little Mercados around here here they get deliveries through the back door okay 1946 let's see I'll just have to put my mask on and now we can go inside This is what you miss out on if you avoid these areas. Creigazo, no? So this is basically what you miss out on if you avoid such areas. So don't be fooled and make a uh, make a choice for yourself and judge. Be the judge yourself. That's what I wanted to say. So with these impressions, I want to leave you guys for today. As I'm walking out onto the Broadway, so to say, or as they say, of Madrid. We have all the theaters and Grand Via. I'll see you guys in the next video.